Hey folks, Kisaki here. Today I want to talk with you about the fighting style of the ninja. What characterizes the style? What are its advantages? Why not doing MMA, Taekwondo, Judo, whatever? Why being ninja? Besides it's the most coolest of all martial arts. <laughs> no, not really. Perhaps it is, I don't know. But that's, that should not be your reason. The fighting style of a ninja is, is agile, athletic, acrobatic, intelligent, unpredictable. It's characterized by being flexible, you know, by changing tactics. It's not always the same. It depends on the situation. It depends on your analysis on how to proceed and what are you facing and it's based on clever decisions on how to handle the situation I give you an example or let's say it's easy, it's easy to understand what I mean when you see of how many different things it consists first you do some standard martial arts without weapons like kickboxing or taekwondo you do grappling like in judo or jiu jitsu these things. You have weapon techniques, you do parkour, free running stuff, so we can go climb, we can climb, we can use obstacles, we can use our environment for our opportunity. We're not in an octagon where you have flat surface, we are out in the woods, we are in the city, in urban environments, we are on grass or whatever, on uneven ground. That changes things a lot. No, it's not the same. And, yeah, you say, you do so many things, you can't be a specialist. You will lose, the MMA fighter will kick your ass in the octagon. That's true, but you're not in the octagon. And you know, when I'm facing an NBA MMA fighter, I take my fucking sword and chop his head off. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, be clever. Don't be fooled. If you're fighting somebody that is 120 kilogram, you don't go on the ground. But you face somebody that's only 50 kilogram, then, then you do the takedown, then you apply your bars and put your weight on him. Perhaps he's better than you. you, there's always a chance to lose. But you need always to be more clever, analyze the situation and take your advantage. And that's what makes the fighting style of a ninja, you know. Also you can use your the environment, I already said, you can go on a, on a favorable position, analyze the situation and go in there. Against the kickboxer, you don't you don't do stand up fighting. You take your sword, you, you do weapons techniques. You go on the ground. You just do that what he can't do. You don't you, you 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 don't let the other guy force you to accept his style. You force him to fight in another way than he's trained in, and that's the fighting style of a ninja, and that's the big advantage. Besides of being cool. And I think that's all I wanted to say to that. I mean, just be clever, analyze the situation, take your opportunities, think what can the other do, where he's the best in, and don't do that. Let him force him to fight the way he's the worst in, where he has the, the, the least genetic potential or whatever. We'll see if he's, if he's big and heavy. Make him move, exhaust him, be agile, go in and out quickly, vary your techniques, throw some long range kicks, move out, let him follow you, keep him moving until his heart goes boom 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 boom. And yeah, when he's exhausted, you go in, hammer fist, onto the chest, boom and punch, onto the solar plexus or whatever. When he has already beat 460 beats per minute, if, uh, <laughs> A strike onto his chest and will knock him out. Pretty sure or he, he doesn't want to continue fighting anymore. Don't don't be the guy that's lying flat on the ground and he's lying on, on you. Then you are losing, that's for sure. Then he's the better grappler perhaps. Yeah, he's just a more heavy guy. Perhaps he's even the has better technique, that might be. But you are the idiot if you let him win like this, you know. And yeah, that's for me. 
for me, the, the most important thing in Ninjutsubo, in, in the way of being ninja, to adapt your abilities to the situation and use them in the best way. So I hope you understand what I mean. If you have different opportunity, uh, opinions, if you have other tasks to say, if you want to, to add something to my, to my um, point of view, just write it in the comments. Please like my video and subscribe, stay tuned for more. Thanks for so long, stay awake and always one step ahead. Thanks for watching.